Greetings. In this video, we are going to look at air on page 31 of the Christopher Parkening Classical Guitar Method, Volume 1. It's based off a theme by Haydn, and it's a great piece of music for challenging our knowledge of the notes because it involves what are called skips. In music, when I step from one note to the next note, so for example, from F to G, that's a step in the scale. But if I skip over a note, so say from E to G, and I'm skipping over F, that's called a skip. So if I go C, E, G, that's two skips right there. Let's go ahead and hear what this piece sounds like. I'm going to play it nice and briskly first, and then I'll slow it down for those of you who are struggling with this piece. One, two, ready, go. Now slower. One, two, ready, go. If you are struggling to read this piece, my advice would be to break it into smaller chunks. So for example, what I could do is just start with the first measure. So I have C, C, E, E. And once we've memorized that skip, then we can practice going into the next measure. So I'm going to skip the first half of that first measure and just go from E, E, G, G. G, G, and maybe do that five or ten times and force yourself to really look at it while you do it and it helps you to connect in your brain that when I see this I do this. Once it's easy for you to go from C to E and from E to G then you can try stringing them together. So it's very effective to practice when we can take pieces that are the right difficulty for where we're at today. If I take something that's too easy, then I'm not going to grow. And if I take something that's too difficult, I'm not going to grow. I have to find the right difficulty for me today. So today, it might be best for you to just go one measure at a time. Just isolate that measure and play it a bunch of times. Or it might be easier for you to take two or three measures and just do that chunk right there. Or you might really just need to take your time and do one note at a time. However, if you find the difficulty in which you're not making mistakes and you repeat perfection, then very quickly you'll be able to expand, expand to the next difficulty level. So I would encourage you to figure out what pacing do you need right now in order to play this very well and not repeat mistakes, which will in turn teach your brain to do it faster. And in just a couple of days, you'll be able to take a larger chunk and be able to play it very smoothly. I encourage you to not skip over this piece, but really wrestle with it and challenge yourself to conquer it. If you do that, it's going to set you up to read music far better in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this is helpful.